Hello there, beautiful people, and welcome back again to On Heart Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions in the video request, make sure to drop them online in the comments, I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 200 videos on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers. And I'm, I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I would be happy to provide you with the information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe or maybe now you should consider doing so because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now I'll be sharing complete sections in which it's highly customizable to make a Shopify store very professional, very unique without having to pay for those expensive teams or hire those expensive developers or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that would drain your money and it's not a very good idea for long-term project. Or I give you a better deal, scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, not that you be the judge, now respect your decision. Or actually, you will see that in this video. So in this video, I will show you how to add or how to create an FIQ section searchable and with tabs that looks very professional uh, so the user can actually search for the question uh, using the search bar on the section or scroll through tabs for each tab a specific category or questions and it's highly customizable and everything is customizable from the section settings even the questions and everything you will add everything from the uh, section settings you don't have to dive into code or anything like that and most importantly it looks very very professional because as i said it has tabs and also it has a search bar all right actually let me quit talking and show you actually how it does it look like and without any more talking let's just jump to it as you can see, this is Shopify down team. So I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. In each video, I add small customizations. But a video like 60 or 70, the team will be completely different. But now I think I reach that level halfway. For example, check out this all in one reviews carousel that will show reviews from multiple sources, Google, Facebook, Amazon, and Etsy, all in one place and it's filterable. If I click on Google, all the reviews from Google and so on for Facebook and Amazon and Etsy. Or even better, check out this recent sales notification that will show you the recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code and it's highly customizable. You can customize the behavior for it, for who to show up to, first time visitors or returning visitors and interval between each uh, recent sales and also the colors of course and so on. And all of this by using your own custom code. But I want to show you in this video, let me scroll down and show you the FIQ section, how it looks like and how, to, how it functions. So I will start scrolling right now. So everything that you see in the Shopify store, I did it in tutorials. So if you saw anything that you like and you think it looks good, and you want to implement it in your store as well, then just check out the channel because once it's here, it means it's already done in one of my previous videos. I don't remove the changes, I keep them so people can see them. So again, if you saw anything you like in here, just check out the channel and you will see the video for it. And here is the FIQ section as you can see. It has a search bar and it has tabs. You can switch through tabs for each category and you can customize the category and the questions are tables expandable. If I click on it, it will expand the question, show the text. If I click on it again, it will shrink the question and so on for the others, of course. And search bar, for example, if I use the search bar and type in, for example, wood, I know some questions here have to do with wood. Here it is, as you can see, it will highlight all the questions on the FIQ that has to do with the specific word, that section, I didn't even type wood, yeah, like this, and it will highlight them in yellow. And imagine this, you can change even the color for the highlight. As you can see, it's, it's yellow, you can change the color this yellow color to any color you want by using the section settings. You don't have to dive in the code or edit any code or anything like that. And it's highly customizable, as I said. Even the blue color as well, you can customize it. So what else you need, man? And yeah, if you need anything else, drop me a comment. I would be happy to add that function or option or the things you need. But for now, let me show you how to add this section and how to customize it because I already removed it. And oops, you see this one? This one is actually an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many uh, products he added to the card and it's triggered by the mouse cursor. For example, as I said, I already removed it. So I did move, move the, uh, the mouse cursor to here to remove the section and it triggered this pop-up and it did show up to remind me how many products I added to the card and I didn't check out. And this is by using your own custom code. Yes, you heard that right? I already made that video. So let me close this and let me actually show you how to look on mobile or I will do that after I add the section. Let me reload the page and it's gone as you can see. So how we can add that section? It's very easy. Get back to Shopify dashboard. Here it is as you can see. It did show up because I was leaving again to the dashboard. 
After you access the Shopify dashboard, click on online store, then click on teams, then click on the three dots on the left to customize and click on edit code. Because as I said, this is our own custom code, no applications involved here. So in here, you see that on the left panel, you see this folder says sections, click on it, then click on the first option, which is add new section. Then it will show you this prompt right here where you can name the section and name it uh, FIQ dash section, just so you can avoid confusion and do not type in the name for the extension for the file, just the name for the section. Click on done. It will create some code by default in here, remove the whole code in it. And after that, the next thing you're going to do, you need to hire a developer, pay him with 24 hours and test the code. I'm just joking. <laughs> Scroll down the description box and you will see two sections, not just one. Yes, you heard that right, because there is the premium one and there is the free one. And both of them, they do job completely fine. The premium one for people that want more options and want the section to look more professional and branded. And let me assume in this video, you want the premium one. So let me assume you already did. If you did, you will get a file in your email, download that file and open that, tech, uh, that file with any text editor on your computer, then copy the whole code inside it, then simply pass it in here. Then click on the save button and I repeat, I assumed you got the premium one. So this one is with premium. As I said, the free one will do the job just fine. And after that, get back to the Shopify dashboard and then click on customize because we need to add the section. And after that, it will take you to the team editor for your Shopify store. And in here, navigate to the section or the page. If you want to add it to a different page, for example, product page or something, navigate to the product page. In my case, I'm going to add it in here, which is the same location. Let me scroll down below the scroll logos. This one in here, click on add section, then search in here for FIQ and here it is on how filterable FIQ. Click on it and it should show up. No, uh, maybe I need to reload the page. This, this things happen sometimes if you do things too quickly for Shopify to function properly. Let me reload the page, okay. FIQ, here it is, and here it is, as you can see. And yeah, it looks small, no worries. You can customize everything. So I did add options to, customi to customize literally everything. By the way, so all the question section will only show up four. For example, this one only three. Let me add another one. Here it is. So it will only show four. Why is that? Because what if you have like 16 questions and the tab all as uh, questions will have will be like one meter long, which is, doesn't make sense. The section will be too large. So, so it will show only like the four questions. And if you want a question, a specific question to show up first, simply drag it up just like I did right now, as you can see, and it will show up and same for the others. Let me drag it as that this one down then i will show you how to add the questions and how to categorize them change the categories and so on so the first one is the heading frequently asked question this is very simple i don't have to explain if you want to change this change it and below is find answers to common questions about our products or services you can customize this if you want in my case i'm going to keep it same and below is the placeholder for the text which is the search bar in here it says search for questions you can customize this i'm going to keep it just like this and below is uh, the categories, all category tab, which says all questions. This is the blue one right here. And in my case, I'm going to keep it all questions because it's relevant. And below are the categories, as I said. So each one in here is a tab. I added some comments in here so you don't get confused. So make sure to separate each category by a comma, just like the example below. For example, you see it says product, care, da, uh, comma, sorry materials comma so between each categories is uh, a comma otherwise it will not uh, work properly for example this custom orders i will uh, change it to random maybe yeah random and it should change in here here it is as you can see random and below is the no result message if the user searches for a question or a term that doesn't exist on any question the message that should return this one right here by default, there's no matching questions found, blah, blah, blah. It's relevant. I'm going to keep it just like that. And this one is the whole section background color. This one based on your Shopify source. Use different color. You Maybe you want to set different than white. In my case, is white. I'm going to keep it as white. Then the text color, which is the whole section text color. Uh, in case you want black, then make sure to remove this. Move this, sorry. Change it to white. In my case, I'm going to keep it as black. And below is the active category. As I said, you can change the color for the active category. In here, by default, is now on our questions. It's blue. I'm going to keep it as blue. It looks good. And below is the category 
text color, I mean the active category, sorry. So once you select this one, blue color, the text will transform into white. Uh, the other ones that are not selected, the text on them is black. So this one based on the background color. So that's obvious. And below is the heading size multiplier. So if I increase this, it will increase the heading size. As you can see, if I decrease it, it will decrease heading size. But first, make sure to use the last one first, which is the size multiplier. So this one will uh, add the comment again, adjust overall size of the FAQ section. So this one will resize the whole section evenly. Let me show you that in action. So if I increase the number in here, oh, too much. If I just like this, yeah, it looks good now. As you can see, this is the perfect size. I think maybe a little bit less. Yeah, it's good now. And this ones are for the heading only, if you want to resize the heading only. And below is if you want to resize the subheading only. It looks actually small, let me resize it more. Uh, no, too much. Yeah, looks perfect now. And below is the top heading, as you can see, the padding at the top is too much. Let me decrease it. Yeah, now it's good. As well as the bottom, let me decrease it as well. Yeah, it's good now. Now, how to add the questions? That's very easy. You see the tabs in here that I showed you at first? These ones are questions. If I click on this one, it will show me the settings for the question. What is the question? The answer, as you can see, this is rich, uh, rich text input. So you can highlight some words, for example, if you want uh, maps to be highlighted you can make it bold and so on and below is the option for the category and this is very important make sure to enter the category exactly how the tab you named it in the section settings this is also a uh, uh, letter case sensitive so if you did for example this one as you can see capital letters at first product with p capital and care with the c capital if you did uh, in case you did this one without capital letters it will not work it will not be set this question to that particular category. So make sure, uh, I did actually add a comment for this. As you can see, enter a category name exactly as it appears in the categories list in the section settings. Otherwise, it will not work. So this is very simple, right? Make sure to name the category exactly as, as you named it on the section settings. And the other ones as well, if I click on this one, as you can see, this one for materials, as you can see, and it will highlight the question here is. If I click on materials, it will show me only the question that has to do with materials that I did set, which is the second one, this one here is, as you can see. And also I'm working for you guys. If you have any questions that you want to add or any options, sorry, that you want to add to this section, so drop me a comment, I will be happy to add that option. But for now, I think my job is done because that's how you add a searchable and expandable FIQ section with many functionalities and customization option by using your own custom code. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them below, as I said. But for now, I think my job is done. And thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.